Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about configuring your Nuxt 3 plugins. Now, if you've been with Nuxt for a while, you remember that in Nuxt 2, because Nuxt 3 is out, by the way, it's stable. In Nuxt 2, every plugin, you know, the plugin directory contains the JavaScript plugin that you want to run before instantiating your, your application. So in Nuxt 2, you had to add your plugin information to your Nuxt config, but in Nuxt 3, look at what they say here. Nuxt automatically reads the files in your plugins directory and loads them at the creation of the view application. You can use server or client suffix in the file name to load a plugin only on the server client side. That's nice. Now, look at this. All plugins in your plugins directory are auto registered so you should not add them to your Nuxt config separately you don't have to add your Nuxt plugins to your config that's beautiful that's nice they're auto registered so for example this is a Nuxt 3 Tailwind starter kit that you can get absolutely free click the link below and you can download it it's absolutely free it contains one plugin and it can help you learn how to use Nux3 plugins it contains all these other things too absolutely free for you so you can learn how to use Nux3 all right so a plugin all you need is a uh, boom let's do that all you need is your plugins directory and you register your plugins and I have a few plugin examples here you look at that um, this is uh, a simple plugin that just tells you what today is really and when you write like this you have this provide example you can go to uh, where I, have, I think I have that in the about come yeah about and all you need to do right is just right today like that just like that today so you go to your play if you look at your plugin and you say you gotta write export default define nux plugin and then you say return provide then you have today then this today is just today's date using day js and so when you look at the ui this is what you have about page there it is also using it on the contact page the same thing when you look at the contact content right there this is one way of writing your Nuxt plugin there's another way and it's like this well yeah it's just like this so we get today from DayJS define Nuxt plugin and then we get the context and we, we get an instance of the Nuxt app the application and then you say this today should now be on the next app today's date so how do we use this when you go to home this is how we use it right right you say const nux app use nux app so we get the context and then we say on the nux app get today's date assign that to this variable this constant today and then when you go or to the index page actually no we'll just look at it to the ui we go to the home page here and there it is so it's just two different ways of using plugins i really like the provider method um which was shown here provider method because with this one you don't need to do all this all you need to do is just um well, where, where am I? All you need to do is just run, please. <laughs> it's just this. That is when you're in the your template tag. So that's about it. So just remember, when you're writing your Nux3 plugins, you don't have to. When you're writing your Nux3 plugins, you don't have to register them like we used to do in Nux. I mean, you don't have to add them to your Nux config like we did in uh, Nux 2. In Nux 3, they're automatically 
registered for you. Just the top level ones though. The top level plugins will be registered. So here, this, and this one, and these are supporting files. Yeah. But that's really good, right? That's great. All right, remember, you get a NUX3 Tailwind Starter Kit, absolutely free for you. So click the link at the bottom of this video, right? Click that link, and then you get this completely free NUX3 Tailwind Starter Kit. You get pages, you get a layout, you get a US head composable, absolutely free, so you can learn how to use NUX3. And each of these will mean something for you. They will help you learn how to write your app. All this, here, this code, right, it's free. So you can go in here and just see what this means and what it does, change a few things. And then um, you see, you're gonna have an app that looks like, like this. All right, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, get your own, your Nox 3 Tower and Starter Kit, absolutely free. Do whatever you want with, with it. Build something nice, let me know how you like it. All right, I hope you have a nice day. Talk to you later.